One in eight women will battle breast cancer in their lifetime. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and each Wednesday this month, we will be talking with experts about prevention, early detection, and how to best battle this deadly disease. This morning, we're focusing on catching breast cancer as early as possible. Joe. Yeah, that's exactly right, Andrea. Michelle Wilson with the Baylor Scott and White Hillcrest Breast Center joins us now. Michelle, good morning. We appreciate good you joining morning. us. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks for getting up this early to talk about a, a very serious topic. Absolutely. I know, I know it is. So uh, there's some confusion, though. People watching this morning, let's clear up some of this confusion about when women should start getting screened for breast cancer. What are the guidelines for starting screening and how often should we get mammograms? There are different guidelines out there. What we follow, we see save lives every day. You've got American Cancer Society has a set, American College of Surgeons, College of Radiology, and the guidelines we follow still save lives every day are 35 for a baseline, and then you start annual screening at the age of 40, and you get one every year. Whenever we see women skip years, if they do have a cancer and it's growing at a high rate, it's just, it gets away from us quickly. So right. we still think screening every year catches it as early as possible. Are there certain groups that need to get screened at an earlier age than 35? Absolutely. Um, if your mother had breast cancer and was diagnosed under the age of 40, then you would want to start screening 10 years prior to her diagnosis. Um, some ladies that are at higher risk just from genetic factors, from their own personal factors, they would want to visit with their doctor about being screened earlier as well. And I know you hear this, uh, a lot of women are hesitant about getting screened because yeah. of the pain of a mammogram. Talk a little bit about that. It really doesn't hurt. And most women, when I get done doing them the first time, I'm like, so how was that? And they were like, it wasn't bad at all. You know, like, what are these ladies talking about? It doesn't hurt. If you're real tender to the touch, if you can just touch your breast and you're like, that hurts, then it's going to be a little uncomfortable for you, but it's not painful by any means. It's quite the myth that, uh, uh, you know, you hear women say, oh, I, I, I screened myself at home. I, I'm, I'm good, or I had you know, maybe a sister do it or something like that, but that's not everything they need to know about it, right? Absolutely to... not. Um, you can't feel breast cancer at its earliest stage. That's like what we call calcifications, which are like little grains of salt in the breast, and that's the absolute earliest form of breast cancer, and that's when we want to catch it well before you can feel it. By the time you can feel it, it's usually progressed a little further than we would like it to be. Some people think, well, I, I got to schedule an appointment, I got to go to the hospital, and I got to do this. There is some preparation, but Overall, it's one of those things, if you have to prepare for something like that, you know, so be it. You yeah. know, this and is important. We've made it so easy because women are busy. We're moms, we're wives, we're running around. So when we start appointments as early as 7 o'clock at the Baylor Scott and White Hillcrest Breast Center. We go through the lunch hour, and every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're there until 7 p.m. trying to take those barriers away for moms that are busy. Um, you're in and out in about 20, 30 minutes for a screening, meaning you're not having any problems. And you can call and make the appointment yourself if you're not having any problems with your breast. So we try to eliminate those barriers so women will come in and take care of themselves. Perfect. That's very important. And where can viewers go to make an appointment for a mammogram? They can call the Breast Center at 202-4220. And as long as you're not having problems, you can schedule your own. I know we didn't talk about this today, but uh, share with us just a little bit. You know, men are watching go, yeah, it's just for women. No, absolutely not. not. Absolutely. Right. I think y'all are even going to highlight a gentleman that's had breast cancer later this month. Men can't get it. They need to pay attention to their body. And they, when they feel a lump, they need to go in and talk to their doctor about it because they can absolutely get breast cancer. 100%. Not as common, yep. but. All right, Michelle, we appreciate you joining right. us. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Again, uh, shedding some light on this very important topic. Absolutely. So if that saves one, then you know what? Perfect. We did our job.